Good morning. Actually, I think it's afternoon. I'm out here getting my daily dose of vitamin D. Oopsie. Sorry about that. You're on the tripod and you're kind of heavy. Anyway, so here I am, outside, relaxing in my hammock again. Now, let's see, what have I been doing? I, I took an antler and I put it in the vise and I sawed it with the skill saw. Now that, when you use a skill saw, it cuts, it cuts very nicely, but it also makes a lot of waste. It'll, it'll make maybe an eighth or sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, I think, of garbage. Hello, Mal Kitty. Yes? I just let you out because you wanted to come out. You were out. Now you're in. Or you're in. Now you're out. Don't drop them on my face. Okay. So much for that. Okay, so I was... I thought I would make earrings out of antlers. So I cut slices. They're about the thickness of, pen, of, of nickels. Or some are a little thicker. But using the jill, skill saw is not the way to do it. The way to do it is to use a hacksaw. Makes a much finer blade, a finer thing. But I thought I would just do it fast. So I wasted, you know, half of my, my antler to, to cut up the pieces that I made. I mean, I wasted half of what I was working on. Not half of the whole antler, because I didn't do that many. I also cleaned out the corner of the living room. You know, I have all those plants sitting on that old TV. But we don't need that old TV in there. So I took it out and I put the plants on other windowsills and in front of the doorway. And then I've got some antler stuff on me. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Mal. Anyway, so I cleaned up that corner. It feels nice to have that corner clean. But I brought so much stuff out of the um, art room. Have to put it all back in there. Where are you? Did you go down on the actual dirt? Snow, I mean. So I snow out here, as usual. And tomorrow we're having another snowstorm. Oh, there he is up there. Hey, Mal Kitty. Hard to hunt birds up there, isn't it? You just don't have the way. You don't have what it takes when you're up there, do you? So anyway, we're having a winter storm again tomorrow. Which is nice because we lost a bunch of our snow the other day. We lost about half of it. It's only about about six inches now. Or at least six inches down to the bottom. I don't know if that's the dirt or if that's the first ice layer we had. But you know, all winter, the snow melts on the bottom. So you may have a whole lot of ice at the beginning, but then it's going to melt upward from the, from the ground because the ground is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to melt it upward. So although you may have tons and tons of snow, it's continually melting from the bottom. Just a bit. Of course, I could be wrong. Not that I've ever been wrong before. No, 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 mind you. I went to a really cool site today. I forget her name now. Jeannie and... What was his name? Denver. Anyway, Denver and his mom. She calls herself um, a personal chef because she has lots of children and, or lots of a whole family and they all want to eat different foods and so she makes them eat their separate food. I told her this joke. I don't know if she'll get it. But I there was this once... There was a mother who was always making personal foods for everybody and she had some little children and today was day for eggs and so everybody wanted a different kind of eggs some wanted their scrambled or fried or easy over or sunny side up you know it's a lot of choices I don't think I don't never labeled all those things to my kids so I don't get the the request you know they get either scrambled or fried that's it anyway but so this one mother she, one of her children wanted two eggs. She wanted one. He wanted one scrambled and one fried. And so she made that. And she put it before him, and he cried and screamed and wailed. Well, you know what was wrong? She had scrambled the wrong one. 
<laughs> Isn't that great? Ah, yes. Being a personal chef to many people. I've done that before. That's before I gave up. I gave up about... Mm, I guess I gave up about ten years ago. People all called my food compost because I made stir-fries. They were so picky, I stopped making food. I would buy pineapple that they could eat out of the can and all sorts of stuff that they could just quickly prepare. Even french fries you stick in the oven and hot dogs and stuff like that. So I did not, no longer did I have to deal with people that didn't want what I ate. And so I wouldn't cook because whatever I cooked, they wouldn't want that. They'd want something else. So they learned very young, these last three kids. They learned very young how to prepare their own food. Abraham was making his own grilled cheese sandwiches when he was little. And Daniel could make um, carrot cake. That was pretty cool. Hear a noise over there. Oh, maybe I've gone on too long. Better shut up. I mean, better hush. Goodbye.